Cowabunga. Right. This is one of the more um, ambitious things I've tried. It's pretty complicated. Um, I might have to stretch it over two videos because I want you all to understand. Um, some of you will probably have heard of something called the buffer override. Um, there are sort of lots of plugins around that kind of um, sample um, incoming audio really quickly and play it back. Um, and this is what I'm going to try and do. Um, I've got a thing on my Korg Electribe EMX called the Grain Shifter, which is the, the one thing that sounds most similar to what I've made, so I've called it that. Um, it's probably not, that's not really what it's doing, um, but it's the best name I could come up with. But essentially what we're doing here is we are um, using delays to just record little snippets of audio. Um, the principle is very similar to when uh, the, the, the buzz effect that I made in an earlier video, which is using these curves to um, duck volume and raise feedback and dry wet levels on delays so that it just creates an instant loop. Essentially this is just looping. Um, the reason why this is different and better is because it's continuous whereas the buzz effect in the earlier video um, only the effect would only work when you raised one of the curves on the matrix but what I've done is I've actually made two sets of delay chains so the, the, uh, the, the looping is continuous <coughs> um, and what I've also done is assigned a bypass and also um, an LFO to do the grain time here's our knob here for grain time um, I, oh, you can't really quite see, hang on a sec um, there's this thing knob here for the pattern which changes the pattern which is the general behaviour of how it works and then a knob here to control the LFO uh, which is on the mouse drum down there, I don't know if you can see that which is going to modulate the grain time which you can turn on and off there um, so, and it's going to sound something... Ooh. Uh, so that's Lynn Collins. And this is it on. Uh, so I've got some different patterns here. It's, pretty, it's, actually, it's, it's actually quite quiet. <laughs> Oh, maybe because that's ah, oh, there we go. It's because that's quiet for some reason. Okay. And then the, the grain time here, sort of. I hope that's loud enough. Make it a bit louder. Basically, I'm just going to have a sip of some coffee. Ah, very good. Right, so I'm going to try and make this again. I made it sort of in about an hour, but I know what to do. I'll try and get it into two videos. Um, so I'll start by just disconnecting this. I'll keep it open because I'm probably going to need to refer to it because I'm just bound to forget it all. So, plug this in here. Um, first of all, we're going to need to do 
the first delay chain. So we're going to need, um, well actually to start with we're going to need an audio merger splitter thing because we're going to need to send, send the same signal to two different chains. Um, so we'll pop that in here. This way we can now send the signal to two separate chains. We could send them to up to four chains or maybe even more but we're just going to do two. So I need, to, hang on, no. I need a mixer first because I need to be able to duck my input volume, input level, and then I'm going to need two delays to make it work in stereo. Um, and yeah. Oh no! What happened there? Don't want you there. We want you there. Oh God! What have I done? Anyway, so oh, that's just made it a bit confusing. So yes, that's going in here, that's going to go in here, isn't it? Um, and then I'm going to route this chain back. Oh no, wait a minute, I need one more mixer at the front. So, yeah, can go here, that can go here. And I'm going to route, yeah, this back into here because we're going to route both chains back into this merger to send the signal of both of them as one signal back into here. Um, so, I wonder if I should just copy all this now. No, maybe I'll do it later. So we'll have, we'll get our matrix going. Set this to bipolar, put the curve into rotary 1, and rotary 1 is going to do all the work, pretty much. Um, okay drop the programmer. So we want, you might help if you label them, I'm not going to actually. Lines, line mixer 6, right, so we're going to have to duck our volume on channel 1 on line mixer 6. Actually we're going to need to have a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 0 and then the same rotary 1 We'll do the feedback and the dry wet on both delays, so be sure to set this to rotary one. Uh, feedback, dry wet. So now that this curve is up here, that should all happen. Oh, maybe uh, a little bit of sound would be good too. Nothing. Ah, okay. Plug it into the mic there. <laughs> and uh, root that to the very good so we don't want that kind of rhythmic sound there we want very very short delay time so whilst we're here actually um, we'll just root rotary 2 on both delays to the delay time in milliseconds have a minimum value of 1 and maximum value of 100 milliseconds do that for both of them. Rotary 2, minimum of 1, maximum of 100. Well, Okay, so what we've got there, that's not 100, that's 99. So what we've got here now is we've got one chain of delays where the matrix is up that is when the effect will launch. Oh, I've got to keep remembering pressing play. Okay. But that's not really what we want because we actually want to have a continuous flow of sampling. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, having two delays, having two mixes, but then route the rotary one to enable the chain when the matrix is down like this. That way we'll get a um, continuous flow of sampling. I think I'll just stop the video there and then do the next one. <laughs>